Mark Weber, as the former CEO of PVH and Donna Karen, and now the author of a new book, Always in Fashion. Please tell me, do clothes make the man? I would answer you this way, and that's why I wrote the book, partially to tell you guys what you should be thinking about. But clothes are only a portion of what it takes to be successful in business. I have a chapter in the book that says packaging yourself is as important as the products you package. So yes, clothes do play an important part. And you moved from PVH, which is a male-dominated brand, to Donna Karen. Now, was it different in a female fashion house? Was it harder for a guy? It's much harder for a guy. First of all, I work with uh, 300 women and about 10 guys. The population is, is, is female, correctly so. They understand the business extraordinarily well. But the transition went from, when I look at product, would I wear that? Where would I wear it to? To having to look at women's products and apply myself that if I was a woman, would I wear it and where would I wear it to? So it takes an adjustment. But business is business. The principles are the same. And Donna Karen is owned by LVMH, which is based in Paris. Was it different for a hard-charging American exec to work for a European-based company? You know, I, I always looked at myself as an American representing an American company, and now I had to become an American within a European company, which is just different. And the responsibility for me was different because I wanted to set the proper standard. You know, very often in America or in Europe, people think Americans make more money than they should or maybe make more money than their counterparts. So there was a burden and there was a, a tremendous responsibility in the way I would handle myself and the dignity which I would apply to business. Plus the fact Americans are much looser, much less buttoned up and much more comfortable in the way they express themselves. So yes, it's different. And as someone who's been in the retail sector for a long time, how do you adapt to the changing trends? Right now you have malls are dying, department stores are dying. So what does someone in your position, who's the head of a major brand, who's got to sell into those chains do? Today, uh, you know, a strategic plan, people used to focus a great deal on writing three-year plans, and they still do. Today, a one-year plan is hard enough to be strategically correct on. The one thing we're sure about is this industry is going to change dramatically. Uh, it's very often referred to omni-channel. There's many different ways to reach your consumer. And the one thing I'm sure about, every major company in our industry is going to have to reboot, recalibrate, and figure out where they're going in the next five years because it's going to change dramatically. And then finally, there's always an assumption on Wall Street that the high end will always remain secure because rich people always have money. So you can always bet on brands like Tiffany will come back and a lot of the LVMH brands. Is this necessarily the truth? I think it all comes down to product and the way you position your brand. Yes, people who are affluent have money to spend on things they want or more importantly, things they think they need but they really want. Uh, there's money there and there always is. And there are people trying to aspire to, to trade up. But you have to have the right product, and you have to have the right product at the right time. Mark Weber, thanks a lot. It's a great book. Congrats. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching The Street.